<laughs> hey guys, I am here to do my, uh, what month are we in? March favorites. In Jane's Multicolored Illuminating Powder. I'm obsessed with this powder. I have it on today. I put this down first over my cheeks and then I will put blush on over it. I can wear this alone without any blush and it gives you the prettiest kind of shimmery, light little, it's like little fairies have just kissed your cheeks and they've left some color with a little shine. Um, I put that down and today I put on a NYX blush over it. It's just the prettiest color as you can see. I absolutely love this, this shimmer that it gives to your cheeks. Like I said, it's just like the sun kiss pretty cheek thing. Another favorite this month, you guys know that I love and my ride or die is my Chanel Double Perfection matte powder makeup and it's been my ride or die forever. I was out of it and I wasn't able to go get it. And when going through my things, I totally forgot that I had this in my stuff because I was looking for powder for my face. And it is the Cover FX Press Mineral Foundation. Oh my gosh. I have it on today. That's what I'm wearing right now. And when I am out of my Chanel or can't find it or I'm running low on it, no joke, the Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation Powder I have in 40. I probably could go lighter um, because I am self tanning. This is fine for me right now, but I probably could go a lighter color. Just saying. And it wears so close to Chanel. No joke. And this is a pretty awesome powder makeup if you're looking for it. My favorite has been the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I know that there has been kind of controversy. You either love it or you hate it. I've actually really loved this. I'm using it for is eyeshadows and for um, contouring my nose and eyeshadows and also highlighting this highlighter which I love because I usually use my Mary Luminizer and it gives more of kind of a goldy highlighter. This will give you kind of a more pinky toned highlight. So if you're looking, actually I should have done that today, kind of like a more pinky toned highlight and not so gold. I love this color like I said. It's just really pretty. It's very pigmented. And then also these two colors, all these colors I have been using for eyeshadows. And this one here, I use to contour down the side of my nose. So I have been really pulling this and using it quite a bit. Two other NYX products have been the Simply NYX uh, lip creams. I actually have them on today and I've been wearing them quite a bit and really, really loving them. And if you want to see a swatch video on these, thumbs up this video or let me know down below. If you guys want to see a swatch video, I have quite a few of these. So if you want to see a swatch video of the ones that I have, but I do have these two on together combined, what I have on my lips right now. And um, yeah, so Enchanted, just a really pretty pink. And then Flourished. Flourished is below it. They are similar but mixed together. I absolutely love the look. I like the staying power. I love the feel. Necklace, obsessed with. I have been wearing it so much lately. I got it from the Bumblebee Boutique online and I am just obsessed with it. It is a three necklace, necklace, and you just have this really pretty um, triangle with rhinestones and spikes and then a little stone and they're just the cutest and I'm loving them. They're very boho chic and I love the layering look of them. And like I said, I've been wearing them quite a bit with tank tops, off the shoulder tops. So a favorite has been this necklace as well. I've been wearing it in videos. I have been wearing it just on the daily. And these two from the Bumblebee Boutique, like I said, I love her stuff. It is very substantial, very well made. These shoes from Massimo that I got at Target, I have been wearing them with joggers. I've been wearing them with skirts. I've been wearing them with maxi dresses and I love these. And I want to say that they may still be at Target and that if they're not, they may be online. If I can find them online, I will link them down below. But these, they're basically like, like a wedge gladiator um, wedge from Target. Mossimo, loving and wearing. They're so comfy. I can go 
miles in these and climb hills and mountains. And people always laugh when I say that, that like, dude, I can like hike a mountain in these. No joke. I can go for hours. Never talk about food as a favorite, but I'm going to try and start to kind of throw it in there because I know that I do my healthy grocery store haul. So why not feature things that have been my favorite that maybe I have just started trying. So I, this Kashi or great, it's going to totally mess up the lighting. So I'm just gonna have to probably put a picture. So whichever side it's on this organic cereal, I am loving it's non GMO. It's organic. It tastes so good. I love cereals. And another favorite that I have been absolutely loving is I always used to use the PB2 powder. And then I found this, which is organic and non-GMO. And I found this at my vitamin health store and I never knew that they made this. And I use powdered PB2, powdered peanut butter with a lot of different things. I love peanut butter and I eat almond butter as well. I have them both. But when I do like peanut butter to mix in certain things, I will use powdered. And I did find this, um, it's called Just Great Stuff, the original powdered organic peanut butter. And again, organic and certified non-GMO. Always look for this label. But this is amazing stuff. I love it even better than the PB2. Obviously it's empty. And I just went yesterday and bought another one. But I am loving this. So that's it guys. Those are my March favorites. I keep wanting to say April. I don't know why. And I feel like I need to, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm being suffocated in this jacket. Not in person. In person it looks really cute. It's a short kind of cute little cropped um, denim -y. It's not denim. It's kind of like a denim, like a faux denim, but it's a really cute cropped little jacket. And in person it looks really cute. But I feel like on camera it just looks like I'm being suffocated or like I'm like in a, a little coat kind of thing, like a Chris Farley. <laughs> That's how I feel, like it's closing in on me and I need to keep adjusting. So I'm sorry if I have been now. I feel like I'm just a million miles a minute here. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are having a great day. Please be kind to each other always, always. Give hugs. Tell people you love them. Be kind and rewind. You don't have to rewind anything anymore. Anyways, I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.